Good evening, fellow Plexers. Tonight we're going to help Kareem get a couple anime shows into his Plex library. And I'm going to demonstrate on a test server of mine and not my regular server. So the two shows are Lupin Zero and Gary and His Demons. But right now, Gary and His Demons is an easy one. It's the same exact listing in both TMDB and TVDB. Even the DVD order of this show is the same as the aired ordering. Lupin Zero is listed in both, but let's take a look at it just quickly at TVDB. So if we go into the season view, and we look at the first season. I assume this is all Japanese. If I click into it, I do see that there's the episode name here. And if I click into it in the movie database, it's the same. So I believe it's all the same for these two shows also. And for basic information, Plex's latest TV show scanner and agent should always be used. Plex scrapes both databases, both the movie database and the TV database daily. And then it takes all that metadata and combines it into the one scanner agent. So you can name from either to get the results you need in Plex. And this is a cold video. All I've done is prep some file names Let's see, where am I here? I prepped some file names and on this test server, in the sort folder I use for various lib or TV show libraries, I've created a new anime library and I have these two shows in there. And they're named in their most basic format. I'm not even using a year with them. because I want to see how they scan in the most basic file format you could have. And if they don't scan properly, I'll rename them with FileBot. And I have a custom expression for FileBot, so I can pull naming from the TV database that I use by default, or I can use their expression that names to the movie database. All right, so let's, um, let's bring Plex into the loop. Okay, so here's my Plex servers. Let's change to this test one. Let's go down to libraries and let's add a new TV show library. And let's go into um, browse mode. And here it is, and we'll add it. And now we'll go into the advanced setting. Normally, because I only name from um, the TV database, I change episode ordering to the TVDB. So let's do that on the first run. And then what you want to do is always make sure prefer local metadata is unchecked. Otherwise, it's going to look to the file and it's um, embedded metadata for matching. So I'll hit add library and now I'll click in and if we go to library mode it looks like it's added both shows properly. Let's click into this one episode and we're pulling all the normal metadata. All right, let's try loop and zero. Okay, doke. So that added properly too. So let's let's back up to the main part of the library. We'll hit the three dots. We'll go into manage library and we'll click edit. 
and under advanced, you'll see I'm using the Plex TV series scanner and the Plex series agent. And the only change I did was to pull metadata. Well, I'm sorry, I pulled episode ordering from the TV DB. Let's switch back to the movie database. In order to have the library accept this change, I now have to go to manage library and refresh all metadata. So it doesn't look like it did anything. We still have everything in properly. But let's remove this library completely. Well, actually, we don't have to remove the library. We can add a second one for a second test. And let's do that. We'll point to the same location. And this time I won't change anything. I'll leave the episode ordering as the default setting of the movie database. And it looks like um, with those basic file names, it comes in no matter what episode ordering is set to. And we'll see, we're detecting credits right now. Everything is working as it's supposed to. So Kareem did not give me his file structure. which is really what it always comes down to. How a, a series is structured and how it's named. So you always name it to what it's listed at either database. If I'm naming to the movie database, I would have had the parentheses zero in each of these. And actually my default Filebot expressions does the same thing. So if I right click, well, let me do both of them. If I right click, on both and open the, them up in Filebot. Now, now these are just little five second dummy videos. They're not the real show. And I just named them um, SO1, E01 through 16 for the one show and through six for the other. And then I use the default binding in, in Filebot. I clicked match and I just dropped down to episode mode, the TV database, pick the right show, and the green dot signifies that nothing's going to change. If I was going to name these for my main library, I'd use my custom expression. So let's use um, the TV database structured by ear date. Again, we'll pick the right show. And you'll see that we're adding the year to the show folder. And we're also adding media characteristics to the file names. Now, Plex isn't going to care about this change. It'll still refresh everything and scan it. And then for loop and zero, again, the year, the year gets added. The folder gets created automatically for the season. And um, you have the year and the file name along with the media characteristics. So those files, that naming convention would have scanned properly too. So Kareem, if you haven't used Filebot this way, um, I can share my custom expressions. Let's just take one of these. So the basic way is just click match, choose your database. I could name towards the movie database too.
And I don't know why there's three episodes saying that they're going to be named fresh. I think they're all going to be the same. Plus, FileBot has their own custom expression. I have to hold down the shift key to click the preset button to see it. But you can organize episodes for Plex right here. And that's going to create structure, but it's going to do it um, in a folder named Media and in a subfolder called TV Shows. That's what FileBot assumes you have your structure set up as. If I was on my computer doing this, it would create that structure, but it won't create this structure on my Synology NAS. That structure would already have to be in place in order to use this expression from FileBot. But actually, I just prefer my own expressions, and I'll just run that through. And if I go back and refresh now, you'll see it's updated with the media characteristics. Lupin is still the same. And if we do that one separately, if you're interested, I have other videos that show how I get these created. And this is the code that I'm using. It will detect if there's English or unlabeled embedded subtitles and add a flag to the file name for that. It'll add the media characteristics. If you have SRT external subtitles, it'll add the language code to those automatically while it renames. My expressions for file butter are kind of like the kitchen sink. So now we have the year to that, and we have the year in the file name with the extra info. And if we come back to Plex, you'll see it's already picking up those name changes. It's scanning everything again. But it didn't change any of the matches. And if I go to that first library, that also picked up the changes. If I go into an episode, info, you'll see the newer file names being used and it did not lose its match. So, Kareem, I'd love to see your file names. I'm sure it's a structuring and naming issue and I just go by the um, Plex naming guide for series. It never goes um, off the rails and FileBot makes you 100% compliant with the right expressions or even their base ones. So let me know if this is helpful and thanks for watching.